Hello, welcome to the Blacky. And this is right Mansana Way, San Diego. And hello to the people of the Philippines. Especially to those in Angeles City and from Mabalaka. Thank you. Growing up on Tanaha isn't like growing up in other places. I believe the word Tanaha in Spanish means river or to hold water. It's a unique spot, a cul-de-sac between Benita, California and upper class neighborhood and Skyline, California, which is quote unquote a gang neighborhood. We call it the block A because at times it can feel like we're blocked in. And in a way, everybody can relate to that. But as we grow, we are striving to lift the block, show how positive it is growing up here, and ultimately, lift the block A. Growing up on the block A, I remember as a kid, everyone used to play outside. It seemed like it was a way to escape the process of overthinking. I grew up in a neighborhood where your identity comes from who you are on the inside and not the outside. This block showed me that families from different cultures and ethnic backgrounds can come together peacefully and play with one another despite the skin color or cultural background. We were a diverse set of kids who taught each other how to love one another even though we had disagreements and arguments. At the end of the day, we were able to shake hands and feel fulfilled with enjoyment as if happiness was never going to leave us. It seemed like we grew up fast and wished that those who moved away could move back with us. We didn't follow anyone else's rules. We had our own. We were peaceful, but at the same time, we were daring. We knew how to have fun. We loved releasing positive energy through sports. We loved being active. We were kids. I still walk down this path, hoping to represent my humble beginnings to the fullest by creating art and self-expression between myself and my neighbors. I'm still in search of my purpose, but it could be what I was taught living on Tanaha. Love. Everybody has a dream. My dream was to be a professional athlete. In high school, I was playing football and I tore my ACL. After that, I wasn't the same physically. And so I had to apply my talents somewhere else. Me and good friends I grew up with on the block started to create videos and music. And this is when I learned that I can create art. This is Ray Ill, one of my best friends that I grew up with on the block. He pretty much got me into the game about learning how to make beats. And this is how it started. To my ACL. You tore your ACL? Yeah. It just sucks, oh, man. Bad, man. So what's gonna happen to track and shit? Sit down. Uh, they said they're gonna um, they're gonna have a brace that I can so I can finish out the rest of the season and play with the brace on. So let's go with track and everything. Like are you gonna be able to run track with that CIF again? Uh, pretty much the doctor said that I, I can 
I could finish out the season for uh, basketball if I wanted to, if I get this brace, or I could finish out track if they give me the brace. So I'm, I guess I'm, I'm going to take the brace. That's hella crazy, man. Yeah. So you're going to have to get surgery and everything? Yeah, they said it was torn. It was, it was, it was really bad. Like at first it was partially torn, and then they said that I, I ruptured it the second time. So man, it looked hella bad when I seen it in person. So yeah, I can yeah. only imagine. It sucks, dude. Y'all works in mysterious ways, right? Yeah, man. This is Hollis Gentry, a relative of my friend and neighbor Josh, who live up the street, and I happened to catch them making music, and this is what happened. Uh, I'm messing with uh, this program called Fruity Loops. It's like a beat making thing. Come check it out. Hey Josh, you like that? Let's try. I like that. Bro? Alright, well, let me layer this then. Hey. So what if I start off like from the hills to Benita, I pass the Santa Clarita. Oh, I know, I know, Santa Clarita, Santa Clarita, Santa Clarita. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want these messed up, dog, man. I can't yeah, believe I can't bro. play anymore, man. This shit's freaking crazy. Yo. I got it, I got it. You good? Yeah, man. Man, you're doing too much. I got it. But yeah, let's take it out. Drums, Timbaland drums. Pretty much you could set up all the drums a certain way, set up the snares a certain way. Honestly, Hennessy, silly melody. Let's just break the border down because we don't really need it. Positive energy, silly melody. Right now I got a, a beat playing and something in the background. And then you can have a snare. The snare normally falls on the fourth and the fifth third. And at this moment, I found out that I had a secret skill at making beats. Now let's take a moment with Dominique Lee, a friend of mine who used to live down the block. He's going to talk to you about the green box and what we used to do over there. Man, you know what's so cool about this green box, man? Back in the day when we was little, everybody didn't have phones, so we niggas would meet up at the green box and go outside, man. And usually, you see one person all of a sudden, they meet up and do five of us. Then later on, it'd be like 10 of us chilling on a Friday night. You know, this is my old block right here, you know what I'm saying? Back when they doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, this is my green box, you know what I'm saying? Old block, you know what I'm saying? That's where I grew up back. You know, as you can see, I already showed y'all, you know, my old house. Because as you can see, we got a bunch of houses in my block. And, uh, you know, me being young dog, I'm a bunch of bitches. So, you know, I'm just tagging all the neighbors, you know what I'm saying? I'm just seeing it. That's the alley of a three boy. Flip flop. Oh! oh fuck! <laughs> that was a uh, signature. A couple years later, me and Red Hill were able to link up at a home studio at a good friend's house, and this is the piece that we tried to put together. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Nigel Burton. I grew up at uh, 7966 Tanaha Lane. I moved to the block in 1999. And uh, I remember 
Lester, Kyle, and Lejean were my first friends when I came to the block. And uh, first thing I noticed was how diverse it was. We had black, black inner city kids. Yeah, little Filipino inner city kids. We had white boys on our block too. So it was real interesting. And um, what's really interesting is we right in between Skyline and Bonita. So it's like on, on our media block, it was cool. It was all love, you know. But at the same time, we all we tested each other, we pressed each other from whether it was from fighting to, to sports to video games. Uh, I don't know, we really, we really taught each other how to have heart in life, you know, with whatever you go through. One. Oh. Hey, that's a two. That's a two. Nah, you can look on the footage. Nah, you're he knows it. Um, but outside of our block, though, you definitely really have to watch your back, what colors you were wearing, where you were at. Um, know what what neighborhood you're in different things like that so it's real tricky John you saw that get this on camera it's been like this since 1999 <laughs> my foot was behind the line no nah, we can look at it look at it all right come on we're in our neighborhood we can have peace you know what i'm saying and commodity and then leave the block and have to really watch your back so uh that was real interesting about growing up the rec center right here man's at a rec uh this is where a lot happened we would come out here every sunday and hoop and uh, it just really, all of us had hoop dreams, but at the same time, we all just wanted to create and be successful with whatever we were doing. I remember growing up playing army tag. I remember we would, uh, this one time me and Lester and Dante, and we made like our own, our own roller coaster out of a trash can and like a water hose, you know what I'm saying? Like crazy shit like that, so. Um. All right, so check up, or I gotta enter the two. Yeah, you gotta make it. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, He's you're playing gonna, me. You're going back to 13 if you miss. That's some bullshit. That was a three, you know it. Huh? Uh, our childhood was interesting, man. It's like you had this this group of kids all from different backgrounds and ethnicities, you know what I'm saying? And all of us trying to be peaceful and loving, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes having to step out of that. But we always came back to that. It's cool. I got confidence. I grew up playing here. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't, I grew up. Like I said, Lejean, Lester, and Kyle were all like my first friends. I done got into fist fights with Lester, I done got into fist fights with Lejean, Kyle, and we were best friends, you know, 10 minutes later. So it just really taught you a lot of life. Well, 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 the car's just hurt. You're a cheater, that's right. I'm winning, bro. It's deep. Well, well, well. Hey! Well, well, well. And it taught you to have each other's backs, you know, and that a lot of times the people close to you, you might not see eye to eye, you might bump heads. But as long as the love is there, you know, at the end of the day, you guys have each other's backs. We're gonna end the game right here. This is cool. We're gonna replay it. You're not gonna make it, bro. If not, nah, I can see it in your eye. Let's go, 13! And um, you're gonna help each other succeed. And I actually left the block, I left this neighborhood when I was 15. Um, around that time, this was like 2004, 2005. And uh, just a lot of gang violence was going on between Skyline and Lincoln. My mom had a job offer and uh, she didn't want us to grow up in, in the southeast area and, and kind of go be around the, the ghetto areas and areas where gangbanging was happening and different things like that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 18! 18, 18. So we ended up leaving the block and uh, a lot of people left. When we were growing up, a lot of people left and most people we never heard from again or lost contact with. And, I left when I was 14, I'm 25 now, and I've never lost contact with Lester, with Lejean, Kyle, RJ, you know what I'm saying, Sean, any of them, just from everybody that was on the block since like third, fourth grade, JR, Michael, we were like a really, really a huge collective, and to this day, we all are so tight, we all still have each other's back, I know I can come back and visit home, and it's going to be nothing but love, and you know what I'm saying, nothing but respect, and talk about good times, and help each other uh, continue to proceed and progress in this life, man, so. Oh my God, Ryan! Ryan! Animal! I don't say it last game, sir. Like Jordan said, I'm out here. Damn it! That's just a block away. Really be about love, you know what I'm saying? Be about peace, but at the same time, you know, everybody had heart from, from sports, like I said, from sports to fighting, to shit talking, to roasting each other. Um, and I don't know, it taught you to have tough skin, and it taught you at the same time to just. Be yourself and never let anybody intimidate you or scare you into not being you. So all of that helped shape and build who I am as a as a person, as a man. And uh, my brand, Just Be Dope, you can, you can see it on the back. Money! Hey, oh, you missed. 
But my brand just be dope. Um, it really stands for like being yourself, you know, spreading love, accepting others for who they are. It's about diversity. It's about unity. And a lot of that um, stems from my, my growing up and how I grew up and the different things I taught and experienced with growing up. So, uh, you know, the block really made me, man. And I'm thankful to be able to call this home and come back here. That's how the game ends, baby. 21. Wow. Since 1900. Wow. <laughs> no kid in my mouth free. I stay spinning opposite of me, so I guess it's the red is. Yeah, going stupid in the car. If you hungry, there was times where it got crazy. We were thinking, hey, do you think it's possible we could record at the park with a laptop, microphone, and just the inbox? We didn't think it was possible until we really tried. My homie Swift came up with the idea, and we ended up making a song in the car, and it was really epic to the point where it was like, dang, we got to shoot a video to this. Another one at the park. That real shit. I'm sitting here looking, checking the scenery, sparking, smoking, blowing the greenery. I give a fuck, boy. Fuck you ain't boy. never seen one like me. Never heard one, nigga. So superb, son. With the verb, son. Keep a bitch, nigga, on the run. Nigga, with this shit, nigga, cause it's so, so fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, I do this shit as a hobby. And these bitch niggas hear my shit, and that's, that's the first, first thing they copy. Nigga, I ain't on that. Nope. Nigga, I'm fresh with the spit. This is yep. off the top of the dome. Giving a fuck, nigga. So leave that shit at home. I'm rolling up, rolling, rolling up in some. Something chrome, I'm rolling up, nigga, rolling up with something chrome. Hey, nigga, yeah, leave a bitch, nigga, brains blown. Fat sack of weed, nigga, yeah, this is the way I brainstorm. I'm up in the shit, nigga, like a fly. On oh, shit, nigga, why? Nigga. Right, nigga, cause I'm do or die. Huh. Do or die, I'ma come through so fly. I don't know what I'ma do, but I'ma get super high, high. Yeah, feel it right, right. Yeah, I'm feeling right, right. Feel so tired. Feel so tired. Lace up your nice. Up your nice. Doing this so easy, like I'm riding a bike. Riding a bike. Hut, hut, hike, hike. Hold up, hold up, spike, spike. It's a fake. We going right. Super deep, hell, Mary. I don't know what you say about me. Middle finger to the critics, cause you know I'm on a mission. I don't care if you don't like me, cause you know you about to listen. Listen. I don't know what I'm about to do. Got a couple cups, yeah. Got a couple brews. I don't know. I don't know. All these girls trying to choose. I don't know. I'm going in, win or lose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's that sound, but you coming back around. Cause you know we hitting in the truck. Yeah, we got that loud. Yeah, we don't got the humps, but we smashing through the traffic and we going through the bumps. Disappearing like magic. What is that that happened? Oh, it's kind of slapping. Bumping down your block. Yeah, you better look on Shazam. I don't know. I don't know what that song is. I don't know. I don't know what right or wrong is. Me some cool ghosts. I don't know. 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't know though.
Till this day, I still think it's crazy that we were able to record a track in the car, especially with the amount of equipment we had. We actually ended up recording a song. Recording in the car is something that is unheard of, and it was an exciting memory that I love to remember and enjoy. Yeah, that's cool. That's 87 right there. Freestyle, just what I like song. Yeah, with this beat um, or no? With this beat, fuck it. Okay. One uh, M, one M, that's us, just us. You see a snicker back up, past the Dutch. I smoke it twice, pass it up. Ray, you hit it to the left. That's Mr. Mayo, spit it. I ended up catching up with Skiz and Ray recently. Ray was making a beat, and Skiz was making a rap to it, and this is what ended up happening. I don't even be making like trap beats and shit. But I heard this. Uh, I heard this. And I was like, no, this one got the vibes. And you got some bars to this shit. So he got good finished some shit up the other day. Let me get a little sample. Yeah. Word, 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 word. I got you. I got you. Uh, look first. Look. I'm on a road. Me and my bros. Couple of them hoes. Couple of them sweets. Snow with the creep. Flow was on hoes, I'm clean as a bitch. I shine and I glitz. Got no time for no bitch, bitch, my time is now. No more face in the crib. Look. Jeez Louise, I need a Jesus piece on this Adidas T. I'm trying to rock God. Recently, I spent a decent fee realizing dreams, trying to beat the eyes. I've been tired but third eye woke. I get how my whole mind flow. Been contemplating how to take the city. But it's been mine the whole time, no. Whoa. Picture that. I was in the back of the black ass back in 08 Rhyme man rap going up, sass to the face Hit my nigga Ray like, hey, think I got something to say Think I might push full away, yo what you think? Told me boy you got that heat, a dragon gon' need dibbly friends Huh, that's a little taste of that shit, yeah, yeah, yeah That last hand shit was sloppy That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> We're still on camera Edit that shit out, word Yeah, edit out that sloppy hand shit Yes, she did. And now she got me saying, I can't let go. I won't let go. I can't let go. No, no. Oh! No, that was stupid. I got the whole blood in it. What the fuck is that doing? Righteous. Get a little kid. Just do it. <laughs> I ended up getting off crutches in 2009. My love for the game of basketball never vanished. Right here is just pretty much a little sneak preview of maybe a comeback. Oh, shit. <laughs> First try. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. oh shit, that cost no pizza. My family is the most encouraging piece of my life. Next to spirituality. The love is unconditional. And to be honest, I can't say enough. But what I will say is this I've made bad choices in my life. But every time a bad choice was made, my family was right there, ready to show me what love really means. And I am forever grateful for that. They're my inspiration. 
guidance, motivation. The love I give to others comes from them. I've learned that the way to give back to my family is quality time and honesty. I cherish every moment intensely and work to make them proud of me as an individual. Sweet water dam. Words are sounds instead of vibration. A tone in words sound like solo a tone. Nose. Life is to be lived, and to have lived is to be loved. I remember those days where I couldn't do anything except sit there and make music. Recovery was a struggle, and now I'm at that point in my life where I can go as hard as I used to. Knowing that going through those hard times allowed me to pick up skills such as making beats, writing music, and even creating films, it all would have never happened. If I never would have got hurt in high school, I would have never created this film. I would have never lived out these events and memories that have helped me become the person I am today. I thank everyone who supported me through my damnest times of my life. Exercising and sweating it all out isn't easy. My message is, God has a purpose for everyone. We all gotta figure it out. There's a meaning to life and there's things that are going to hold us back. But in order to overcome, you gotta have faith, hope, and patience to see the results you wanna see. Hey, baby. Stay balanced, stay balanced. You're good, you're good, you're good. If you want it, go and get it. Stay committed, make the right decision. If you want it, go and get it. Stay committed, make the right decision. If you want it, if you want it, go and get it, go and get it. Stay committed, stay committed. The right decision If you want it Go and get it Stay committed Make the right decision I remember times where I was down on my luck But something always told me I should never give up It's time I step up and make right decisions Young and ambitious, all I'm missing is a missus Look through my visions, I visit when you listen Of who you are before you came up on the millions I came up on some millions, that's the sky, no ceiling There's no limit to the feeling and this vibe that we're giving I was hunting for the moment, only time I was killing I was never one to be the same, I've always been different Sounds turned to music, my mind, I started to use it My mama told me if I get a good one, then don't abuse it I'm high but a plane, Whoa, whoa, flying over waves, whoa, whoa, riding away, 